Hello agents and welcome to my boss by boss guide for the Iron Horse raid on the Division 2. I have covered guides like this in the past for Dark Hours and Iron Horse but I have recently put a team together to find the easiest ways to beat these two raids in Title Update 12. We have so many more builds now than when I made these guides in the past and it's got so much easier. My aim of these guides is not to give you world record runs but instead a very comfortable method that you and your team can use to beat both raids with ease after some practice. We were able to get a 22 minute Dark Hours run with these methods and a 49 minute iron horse run. Both times can be improved with the same method and improved on more as you get more comfortable in bringing harder hitting belts. You can also flawless both raids with these methods. Today we are covering Morozova who is the final boss on Iron Horse. I'm going to go over all the roles, the builds that you want for those roles and I'll explain our strategy. If you want to see any of the builds in more detail then they'll be linked down in my video description along with all of the other boss guides for Dark Hours and Iron Horse. While you are there you'll also find a link to the best division community on Discord which I am a founder of and if you'd rather just get help by another team through these raids then we have raid teams on PC, Playstation and Xbox that can help you. These guides are for players that want to form their own teams and and maybe become one of our raid teams one day. At the end of the video I will show you a full run of Morozova using the builds and strategies I suggest and before we get going can I just ask that you like and share this video to show us some support and if you are new to the channel then be sure to hit subscribe to help me towards my goal of 40,000 subscribers in 2021. The first role for Morozova that we'll discuss is the Overwatch Opportunistic role. This role will be a common theme throughout all of these boss by boss guides because it gives your team so much extra damage. It works better on some bosses than others but even if you're only using part of the build it is better than not having it. The build for this role looks like this. You want to run the Survivalist Specialization with a Concussion Grenade. You want a Scorpio Shotgun and the Secondary and Side Armor up to you. For the gear pieces you want to run the Coyote Mask, Badger Tough Ammo Dump Holster and the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads. The other three pieces can be Providence or Two Piece Providence and a Grupo or One Piece Providence, One Piece Grupo and One Piece Seska. They all do the same thing and you want the Overwatch talent on the chest piece and the opportunistic talent on the backpack. Crit damage should be rolled on every single piece with weapon damage and you'll want two pieces with weapon handling and the rest crit chance. Throw three crit damage mods in and the skills that you want to use are the revive hive and then a crowd control skill like the assault turret, a decoy or a striker drone. The purpose of this build is to be in cover and give all of your team members 12% extra damage with overwatch. You will also shoot key targets with the Scorpio to proc opportunistic which gives all your team members 10% damage and you are going to do some crowd control as well. On Morozova we put this roll on the right side inside of this bowl. It is a perfect place to take cover to proc overwatch and your main job here is to kill the sniper that appears on the right side of the train. You should always give a clear shout when it appears because if anybody is free they can also support you. If the sniper is up for more than a few seconds it will start taking down allies and they really are the biggest threat. In between snipers you can help out with the enemies that spawn out of the door in front of you and you can help with any tanks that spawn on the right side too but always have one eye out for the sniper spawn just in case. You will get targeted with mortars while in the bowl so don't worry about losing overwatch to dodge them and you can call for a heal if you need one. Make sure that you go to the middle when it is called to do the tunnel phase and after every tunnel phase it is very important that you help focus the ads on your side as soon as you leave the tunnel. These will already be running at you and it is your job and the person who is covering the right side door to kill these ads as soon as possible. Once they are dead you can return to the cup and is rinse and repeat until the end of the raid. Another common role that you'll see through all of these guides is the Tardigrade role. We have someone run an exotic Tardigrade chest piece all the way through both raids to give the team that extra survivability and it keeps people up. The build for this role looks like this. You will want a grenade launcher specialization for the extra damage to target out of cover that it gives you and for the explosion that it will soak up every 60 seconds. This perk is invaluable on both of the raids. And then for the weapons you'll just want to go with whatever you are comfortable with. I go with the Eagle Bearer and the Baker's Dozen and my sidearm is the TDI card custom. With this sidearm it gives me a skill tier when I equip it and what I can do to take advantage of that is switch to it before I use a revive hive to pick up a teammate. I can then switch back to another weapon to carry on shooting while the hive picks them up and what the sidearm does it gives the hive two charges so that I can then pick the hive back up after I've got up my teammate. For the gear pieces I've gone with two piece providence and one piece grupo but three piece providence will work the same to give you the same set bonuses and I have the named fox's prayer knee pads with the exotic tardigrade chest piece. What this chest piece does is give bonus armor to each of your team if the armor is depleted and they can make use of this every 45 seconds. It also works for yourself and getting kills with your grenade launcher specialization will refresh the 45 second cooldown for whoever is on it. My backpack talent is perfect vigilance but normal is fine and you'll want to tailor the last piece to the 
main weapon that you use. As I am using an assault rifle, I have gone with Fenris. All pieces should have crit chance and crit damage rolls on them, apart from the chest piece, and you want to have three crit damage mods on as well. The skills you want to use on this build is a revive hive and anything else that is required for each boss. On the Morozova boss fight, apart from the build, the tardigrade roll will count as a DPS roll and we'll cover that soon. I will now go over the healer roll. This roll is used for every boss except one in these boss by boss guides for Dark Hours and Iron Horse. Although the roll tasks will change at times, the build can stay the same throughout and it looks like this. You'll want to run a survivalist specialization for its healing properties and then I have the Scorpio and designated hitter as the weapons. The sidearm does not matter at all and the most important part of this build besides from being able to heal people is that it is 4 piece future initiative and you'll have these in the mask, chest, holster and knee pad slots. And you'll also want to have repair skills rolled onto all of them. Future Initiative comes with a lot of healing properties but also the ground control talent. This talent gives every member of your team 15% extra damage if they are at full armor and the Future Initiative chest piece ups this to 25% extra damage. You then want to have the BTSU gloves so that you can refresh hives and overcharge when it is needed and you want an Alps backpack. The talent on this is up to you. I feel that the build gives enough heals anyway so I go opportunistic and proc it from time to time with the Scorpio. I know we already have a roll covering opportunistic but it's an additional option if needed. I have the incinerary grenade for crowd control and you want to have the restorer hive and a chem launcher for heals. I mix up the three mods with skill haste and repair skill mods. On the Morozova boss fight, you'll be healing your team from start to finish. I normally throw my Restorer Hive down on the left side and I just focus the other side with chems if needed. People should call for heals if they need them too, and a great place to be situated is in the centre where the fuck off and die signs are, but you can also run around if you like as all the eye control will be dealt with and you only need to worry about the green lasers in the later phases. Just heal your team and join the tunnel phases, you want to destroy your hive for overcharge just before the gun and the mortars go off. You won't need to do this for the first tunnel phase as it is easier, but you will benefit from it on the other phases because you can get hit by mortars. With the overcharge, you will refresh everybody's hives in case they go down on these tunnel phases, and you will also be able to drop overcharge chems that are very powerful. Make sure that you also put the hive back down after destroying it for more heals once it has enough charges. On the last phase, we have the healer focus Morozova to disrupt her with a ravenous after the missile on the train is taken down. The tank does this beforehand, but we switch it to the healer at this point so that the tank can finish off the keys to finish off the fight. If your healer does not have a ravenous, it'll be better for a DPS person to deal with Morozova at this stage and we'll discuss that soon. Before we get on to the DPS rolls, we will have a look at the tank roll. The build for the tank roll is very similar to the one that I have used for my Pfizer and Williams guides. There are so many different ways that you're able to build this though, and this is just an example of one that works great. Starting with the specialization, you want to go with the fire roll because it gives your team 10% extra damage to any enemies that you are near to, and you can take full advantage of this on this boss fight with the tanks. But if you do not have a ravenous, you'll want to switch this out for a grenade launcher, which we will explain soon. The primary weapon you want is the Ravenous or a Scorpio if you do not have the Ravenous and the secondary and sidearm don't matter. The gear pieces are the same as the build that I have on the Pfizer and Williams boss fights and I have a Yarl mask on which gives me hazard protection as a set bonus and I have rolled hazard protection on it. I have the perfect Vanguard Gilligard chest piece with hazard protection rolled on and then four pieces of True Patriot I have also rolled hazard protection onto. The True Patriot team buffs work extremely well for when you focus the boss and the tanks and you want to run with the bulwark shield and then a sticky EMP. As I said this shield build works perfect and it is ideal because I use it for the other bosses on this raid but if I was making it from scratch just for this boss fight I would switch out all of the hazard protection rolls for explosive resistance rolls. Right at the start of the fight, you'll have to open this door. You and your team will stay in the warehouse to clear the first wave of enemies. You want to make sure that the tank dies and the two rocket enemies die. The tank is going to drop a key and the two rocket enemies will drop rockets. Once you are happy, you'll all exit the warehouse and take position. The two DPS people controlling the rockets will pick them up and you as the tank will pick up the key. You must take this key to the gun in the center and start charging the radius as quick as you can. Once the alarm sounds, you can interact with the computer and the gun will be hacked and it'll start to fire at the train. Straight after this, you'll head to the left of the train to get another key off a tank that spawns and the DPS people on the left should be able to help you kill him. And having a Scorpio on here is ideal. You won't have time to get back to the computer and hack it, so let the left side know that the gun will be rotating left and after this rotation, you will wait for the next alarm and hack the gun again. 
After this, you'll head to the right side to get a key off a tank and the DPS people on the right side will need to help this time. You won't have time to hack again and you need to inform the people on the right side this time that the gun is now swiping right. After you hack it for the third time, you'll repeat this one more time with a tank on the left and then you'll want to wait for the rocket people to finish what they need to do and head to the tunnel for tunnel phase 1. If you have a Ravenous, switch it on at this point. This is the easiest tunnel phase and the boss will drop down and everybody can line up behind you in your shield. I try and time the shield to give everybody vanguard as the gun fires and I stand to the left a bit in line with the restock box. Anybody outside of the tunnel as the mortars go off will die and once the gun stops firing at you everybody has to get out of the tunnel as quick as they can and retake their positions. On this second phase as a tank, you'll be in charge of keeping tabs on Mars over. This is where the Ravenous works very well. Run straight ahead as you leave the tunnel and she'll come out of the room near the gun. After she loses her immunity, there will be a rocket symbol on her and you need to stagger her. If these rockets go off, they target your teammates and as the fight goes on, they hit a lot harder. She is easy to stagger though and you just need to prime her with shots from your right shoulder before you switch to your left shoulder to shoot and detonate them. This explosion will stagger her. If you do not have the ravenous your next best bet is the grenade launcher so this is why i mentioned it earlier make sure that the tank for this boss fight runs the grenade launcher all the way through this raid so they get full ammo for this fight for this phase you won't need it her rockets won't do enough damage to kill your team so just time your vanguard with when she goes to do it and your team will be more than okay you can throw a concussion grenade if you wish which will stagger her but it needs to be timed well and it isn't needed the main thing for this phase is that you keep her eye and if you lose it you can use the emp sticky bomb to get her eye back i found this out after my initial recording for this guide so here is me using the emp sticky to get her eye in a recent stream that i did once the rocket people have done their task, they'll call for the middle for tunnel phase 2. This time you must cause damage to Mars over and once her armor drops by 3 bars, she'll go immune and the next tunnel phase begins. It is important to note that you can trigger this at any time, so make sure that she does not lose 3 bars of armor before you're all ready for a tunnel phase. Unlike the first, you may have ads coming at you this time and mortars will enter the tunnel. So it is a little bit more difficult and as mentioned earlier, the healer will time an overcharge so people have hives and overcharge chems and then everybody just needs to be in line as they did before behind the tank. The mortars will stagger you all but you should be okay with heals and if the tank stands near the left side of the tunnel, you tend to stagger into the wall and stay behind the tank. If you go down, your hive will get you up and you just need to be quick to leave the tunnel if they're going to stop firing. As the tank, remember to stay in line with the restock box and you won't stagger outwards enough to die. The third phase is exactly the same as the second phase for you as the tank and the team. It's just a little bit harder as there will be green lasers on the train that will melt your armour. If the lasers are attacking you or anybody else, make sure that you remind the team to throw out decoys and the lasers will target them. The gun in the centre will also be firing again and as the tank you can call out left and right as it fires. It should start swiping right for the first time and then every alarm it will alter. But you can call it as you see it and your job is more as over again. This time if you don't have a ravenous you will want to stagger her with your grenade launcher as she goes to fire a rocket and you will want to try and keep her eye again with the sticky EMP. Once the rocket people are done, you'll head to the centre for tunnel phase 3 and take another 3 bars of armour off Mars over to start it. Again, don't take her armour off until ready for the tunnel phase. The tunnel phase is the same as before and when you leave you'll be on the final part. For the final part, you'll continue as you were and you're going to stagger Mars over. But once the rocket people are ready, they are going to join the ad control people and somebody must take over from you. Normally we get the healer to do this if they have a ravenous, but if not, then one of the rocket people should take over from you with a ravenous or a rocket launcher. Once they have taken over, you are back to what you did on the very first phase. This time you'll have all the mechanics going on though and need to hack the gun. The first key will already be dropped on the right side so go and find it and hack the gun at the first opportunity. A tank will then spawn left to get a key from to hack the gun and then one final tank on the right for the final hack. Your biggest threat here are the green lasers and Morozova's rockets so Morozova must be staggered and decoys should be thrown out by the team for the lasers to focus on. Once the last hack is done, everybody heads to the centre for one final tunnel phase and you take all of Morozova's armour off to start this. This tunnel phase won't have mortars this time and after the gun has stopped you'll exit the tunnel to kill Morozova. Once she is dead, have somebody pick up a rocket and fire it at the final missile that comes out of the train to finish the raid. 
This now leaves us with the DPS roles and five people to allocate. One of these people will have the Tardigrade build that I shown earlier, and two of the other four people will want this unbreakable DPS build. A good way to do this build is like this. You want the grenade launcher specialization for the damage to target out of cover and the immunity to an explosion every 60 seconds. You then want to run with the weapons that work best for you. I go with the Eagle Bearer and the Baker's Dozen, but your favorite assault rifle or rifle will also work. And then I go with the TDI card custom. Again, just to be able to proc an extra charge to get a teammate up and then to be able to pick my hive up as well. I go three piece providence with one piece grupo and then I have the fox's prayer knee pads with a fenris chest piece for the assault rifle damage. Crit chance and crit damage is rolled everywhere with unbreakable on the chest and vigilance on my backpack. I have three crit damage mods and you'll want to run a revive hive with a decoy for this boss fight. It is also advisable that one person running this build sacrifices their mask for the coyote's mask so that you have two of these in your team because they can't stack. Only one person needs to do this because we included the coyote's mask on the overwatch opportunistic build. With the tardigrade person and the two unbreakable people, two will want to allocate themselves on the rocket rolls. One will be rocket left and one will be rocket right. As soon as you start the fight, both of you need to pick up a rocket each and wait for the first hack. You'll then see a red missile come out of the train after this and you both need to fire your rockets at it. If you are then on the right side, a rocket person will spawn from here for you to kill and get another rocket. And on the left side, they'll spawn from this door here. Doing the rocket roll, you'll focus on nothing else but these spawn points and rockets. This is your focus until the missile is destroyed every phase. You'll also need to dodge the gun in the middle as it sprays left and right. And on the first phase only, after the missile is destroyed, you'll work on the four guns on the train from left to right with rockets. Once all four guns are destroyed, tunnel phase one starts. As soon as you exit the tunnel, you need to get back to the rocket enemy spawns and go again, but this time you only need to destroy the missile. Once the missile is destroyed, you wait to get two rockets ready for the next phase and call for the middle to instigate tunnel phase 2. There is no more guns to shoot from here. Phase 3 is exactly the same as phase 2 as you destroy the missile again and save rockets before doing tunnel phase 3. And then for the final phase it is the same again, just destroy the missile as soon as you can and save some rockets. But this time after the rockets are saved you just join in on the add control on whatever side you are on. As discussed earlier one of you may need to take over from the tank on Morozova at this point. The third person who doesn't do rockets will be sniper control on the left side. This role is similar to the overwatch person on the right side and you'll just take cover here on this trailer while making sure the sniper dies as soon as it spawns. You can help with ads that come out of the left door and a tank that spawns on the left as well but always keep an eye out for this sniper. Remember to watch out for the mortars and the gun to dodge them as well. The final two people will be what I call door people and they will either just want to use the unbreakable build that I shown earlier with a Scorpio and a Crusader shield or they can put together a build like this. You want to fire all specialization so that team members get extra damage to targets that you are near and then the Scorpio shotgun is the primary. The secondary and sidearm don't matter. You then want a Walker Harrison Co. chest piece with Intimidate on and a Badger Tough backpack with Galvanize. The rest of the four pieces are Hunter's Fury and what you want to do is cap out crit chance on the build before you put everything into crit damage. Remember that you will be running with two Coyote Masks in the team so you could drop a bit of chance for more damage if you choose. You want a Revive Hive on and a Crusader Shield for your skills. One of you are going to be on the right door and one of you are going to be on the left door. Your jobs are simply to kill ads that spawn from these doors and it couldn't be easier. Just dodge the mortars and the gun when needed and then help with tanks when they spawn and join up in the tunnel when cold. The only other thing you need to do is work with the sniper person your side every time that you leave the tunnel phase to kill the ads that will already be on their way to you. Once these are dead you retake positions and rinse and repeat until the end. And now it is time to show you a full run using all of these builds and tactics that I have just discussed. Remember to hit like and share on this video so that others can find it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And remember if you want even more help with raids or if you just want to run with one of our many raid teams. Then check out our community link that is in the video description and come and join us once you are finished. There are also links there to all of the builds discussed today if you want to see them in more depth. And to my other boss by boss guides for Dark Hours and Iron Horse. Enjoy the rest of this video video and until next time stay safe and peace out okay don't go out i'm opening the door kill everything from here did you did you go and get yourself a ministry and now you're gonna marry me and that guy are you gonna marry us are we gonna get married am i gonna have <laughs> no <laughs> what's the surprise i want to know it's a, it wouldn't be a surprise to tell you
I do, right, okay, I don't like, I love surprises, but I don't like surprises, so tell me. No. He's taking oh, the gee, piss out of here. Oh, gee, what are you streaming here? Oh. tonight, but you're not in it, so. so it can't be tonight. Well, I'm gonna be in it now, just because I need to know what it is. That's it. That's it. That's what you did. That's what you put We're just gonna want to kill. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Tank, get the key, get it in. I'm heading straight, everyone straight, head straight to positions. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Rockets are out as well. Remember to pick up your rockets. or something we like forget to do. What are you doing tonight? Right. Destiny. Like right. Destiny. Ooh. Mm, yeah, man. Me and oh, Raddy, first oh, night destiny. Going left. I'm stood waiting for the rocket girl to come out. Why am I getting a rocket? <laughs> there we are. Okay, we are in. Left. Oh, I'm working on him now, it's gonna kill me out. Yeah, me too. Go chance. left. I know, right? So sniper okay. left. I shall. That's all you that we've gone with the sniper, by the way, just so you know. I uh, got a shotty. Yeah. Alright, uh, lighting. <laughs> right. Sorry, 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 sorry. Please, I'm on charge. <laughs> it's, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> just stunned them and I got them. Right. Sniper Going right, left. Right. Okay, people on rockets on the last turret. Some people do DPS. We don't. Just fire both rockets. Get the turret gone, gone centre. On the way back out, just get back to your spawns quick. The rockets will be out with you right away. Kill them. Jobs are coming. Get loads of time. Yep. Do save rockets <laughs> after that then. So you know, after that, once the missile's gone, both save a rocket before we go centre on every phase. Sniper right. Going left. Gun. Am I not meant to be Rocket? Yeah. What's Lucas? Lucas is here. He's I'm just healing. healing. He's oh, chilling. okay. But he's got nothing to do because no one needs healing. Uh, it's mainly for the tunnel to keep us healed in the tunnel, to be fair. I was so confused. I was like, am I doing the wrong thing? Did I just, like, completely tune G out for a whole bit there? I absolutely did, but did I tune him out at the wrong point? Nothing new. Gun is going left, be careful. Gee, I want to know what the surprise is. I'm all... Is the surprise just to annoy me? Is that what it is? It is going to be funny, yes. Oh, oh gee. <laughs> what is it? Just tell me, I'm the down now. I'll still be... I'll be like, oh my god! When it happens, I promise. It's such a surprise! This is brand new information! <laughs> Gee! <laughs> yeah, shut up. Why? <laughs> I tell okay. you things all the time. Go on going right. Go on going right. Hope he shoots a penny in the head. Oh. <laughs> okay, chunk okay. left. On him. Thank you. Does anybody else know about it? Or is it just you who knows? Just me. Okay, so I can't bully anyone else this time. Gonna go on right? <laughs> this is too easy, G. I know, it was bad, isn't it? Are you winding me up? Snipe, snipe left. <laughs> got him. I will be winding so you up, yeah. Crazy? It's not really a surprise for you. I'm just gonna laugh. Why? <laughs> I'm such a good person! <laughs> 
Success. I've Ooh. never kicked a dog. Sorry, video guide. So I told Penny she had a surprise and she can't stop going on about it. <laughs> you just shouldn't have said anything. I know. You should just tell me. You should just tell me. You should, you should, you should Make it a surprise for now. <gasps> All my favourite people are in the raid. Let's go. Middle. Okay, middle. middle, 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 middle. So, TJ, you you know what we do with the tank bit here, left side, yeah. Mhm. Mm and then when we come out, I keep uh, her attention. Yes. Uh, for the first couple phases. Okay. Yeah. Go right a little bit, TJ. Right, nice. Just at like the wall at an angle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My shield is definitely stronger than TJ's shield. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, that's perfect. Why we do that is if we do get staggered by the explosives, we all go left into the wall and it's easy work. And then everybody on ads control on the doors, when we're coming out of that tunnel, the ads are already spawned. Just make sure we're straight onto them. And here that's you want to save a rocket. And we're good. Oh, I think she got her off. Okay. But she hates me. Come on, come here, girl. The decoys are good in this one, is um, Yeah, decoys are great. People got decoys, throw them out, especially on the next phase when we've got the um, green lasers. The green lasers will focus on. Yeah, the green lasers are great. She's just running away. Here she comes, Penny. <laughs> oh, 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 no! No, TJ, no, take her away! No, TJ, TJ, no! TJ! <laughs> Gee, she did She's just purpose. running everywhere, no. <laughs> Here she goes, she's after this. Um, this is good. Middle. Oh, we're going middle now. Save the rockets already? Oh, save rockets, yeah. Alright, my rocket bitch is out. My rocket bitch has dropped her rocket. You got your rocket as well, Tommy? Yeah. Yeah, let's go middle. Oh, she's such an arsehole. She's getting that off. I'm just stop that. Okay, we'll need a hive refresh after this. That's why we go left because it just throws you into the wall. Nice work. Let's go. Ads. What? Did you call me? She called me a bitch. <laughs> call her a bitch back. Call her a bitch back. Make it more aggressive. Make it more aggressive. Show her who the boss is. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what he, well, he was going to go back in then. <laughs> Sniper left. Didn't know what in. She can't spin What is her problem? You. She is scalayed. This bitch she <laughs> opted <laughs> Oh, 
Need your rocket, Penny. Yeah. I was getting screwed by a green light and the turret. Okay, save rockets. Let me show you how. Yeah. That'll be the final phase. The final there phase is. is the most important one for clearing the ads as we come out of that tunnel. Also, the most important one for the Morozova. I've got my rocket. Okay. Got yours, Tommy, yeah? Yeah. Middle, middle. Damage more is over. Nice middle. So I go for the big guy now. No, Mars over, right, right. Over. Go, no, you Mars over, okay. TJ. You still Mars over. Okay. Until the rocket's done. Okay. Okay, as soon as he's down, we'll get the tank. I believe the tank is right. Get the tank. I think she's getting this off. Bow roll. I don't think she did. No, you get it? Nice. Nice, TJ. Well done. I was... Well done. Right, guns going Good right, work, careful. Good work, team. Well done, TJ. So I thought she was, so if you bowel roll, you can save yourself. That's the only reason I was calling it. Mm. Is that tank down on the right, yeah? Yes, no, yeah. Nice, okay. So no more tanks as long as TJ don't put that key in. We won't have another tank until the missile's done. Heal, please. Morris over right next to you as well, Prof. Mm. Ryan. One more shot. Nice. So what happens when that missile goes, Penny, Tommy, just wait for your next rocket, like you normally do, save them, yeah? Damn. And then once you've saved them, Tommy, you're going to join left ads, Penny, you're going to join right ads, and that's when Lucas will take over Morris over, and TJ will do keys. So just get your rockets first. I got it. Nice. This penny left, slacking as always. Well done, TJ. <laughs> I sorry, swear, penny. I swear to God, I'm sorry. If you could, like... <laughs> okay, rocket down. Penny join right, Tommy join left. Healer, can you take over Mars over? Lucas, yeah? Yep. TJ, go on keys. Let's forget I'm this absolutely finish. not needed here. Yeah, it's the easiest bit now. You have so much out of control. You don't need to worry about chemming anybody now, healer. Just put a hive down somewhere for someone. Or just keep Morris over. Have you got your key, TJ? Did you find it? I do, yeah. Nice. I'm here. I'm charging Good work. up. Good work. Have a right. Have a right. Okay. First one going down. Okay, tanks out working him. The key is ready, TJ. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah. That's all I aim to do, bro. That's for the shock people. <laughs> Does anyone have keys? I low key want, I low key want uh, whatever the. Oh, I had a ravenous. You still need. I got key, I think. 
Yeah, I think I No, have. I don't. One shot. I have four keys. Yes. I have four keys. Oh, you'll get five. Get you will get five after this. Nice. Yeah, I'm opening. Can I get a heal, please? Thanks out. Yeah, I'm headed there. This will be the last key. So once. Oh, hang on, there might be. I'll call that in a second. Yeah, yeah, ignore me for now. Surprised I didn't get. Guns going right, reaching. be careful. Do we. Is Mara's over good on her armor? I don't understand. Yeah, she's got one bar. Armor. Yeah, as long as she's got one bar, it's all good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, one, one no sliver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, right. on the next Ow. alarm, TJ's going to put the key in, and we can start doing damage on Mara's over, okay? But, um, I'll call it. Okay, everybody head to the middle. Here we go. And we can do damage on Mara's over. Okay, final middle phase. GG's. Huge GG's. I wanted a sub hour. You, we got a sub 50, which is real good. Have we? Oh, yeah. Really? Mm, yeah, 48 minutes at the minute. Ooh. Delicious. Mm, very much flawless as well, let's be honest. Uh, that was a great run. Easy, easy flawless. You can easily flawless, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's <laughs> Sorry, you wanted to. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> That's gonna be a beep on the video. Yeah, I'm had to send that out. That's Penny's fault. Why <laughs> did <laughs> If you told TJ to call her a bitch before, so far I'd go and do it. <laughs> We're all getting overly aggressive with Morris over here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Sub 49. As long as we get this rocket off, nice. Good Done. job, team. GG's everyone. Very easy. Yeah, it was nice.